5410, and for 30 years it was the pride and joy of the workshop in Nabereshny at Chelsny, located in Tatarstan, part of today's Russian Federation. The 5410 was one of the first trucks Kamaz produced, and the company are the largest truck manufacturer in the Russian Federation today. Between 1976 and 2006, thousands and thousands of these were used for hauling all across the now former Soviet Union, and many are still in use today. Originally, it cost around 2 million rubles in today's money's worth. That's around 14,000 euro. For that kind of money, you got 210 horsepower and a whopping 639 newton meters of torque. It might not sound like a lot, and it isn't, but it was enough to get it up to a speed of 95 kilometers an hour, despite the weight of this thing, 15 tons. That does not include any cargo though, and including cargo, the engine can manage around 26 to 30 tons. And that will certainly not get you up to 95 km an hour anytime soon, if ever. You can pick up a second hand one in good shape today for around $3000. Or you can pick up one on ETS2 where it will cost you 18,730 ETS euro. <laughs> is found in the Volvo showroom and tested on ETS2 version 130. It comes with three cabins, two chassis, a 6x4 and a 6x6, five of the original engines plus five new ones, which are totally bonkers, four original transmissions, two Kamaz, one Jams and one power shift, plus another not needed 12 transmissions. It has the real engine sound of the Kamaz and its original author is a guy called Stas 556. It has been updated for version 130 by Kamazist 1980 and he added some much needed updates and possibly fixed some critical errors but he also added some not missed parts like a 750 horsepower engine and another 1000 horsepower oil burner why and why did we need another 12 transmissions and did we really need this this is the crazy lady in the Kamaz 5410 <laughs> and she's not optional. <laughs> Whenever you start the engines, she goes back to sleep. So my recommendation is never stop, just keep driving. <laughs> This is my 1980 5410 and it has 210 horsepower producing 2110 newton meters of torque. It has a 5 speed manual and it's the 6x6 version. 
it's all painted in beautiful sunlight silver one of five available very soviet union uh, colors unfortunately there are no skins available it's basically a standard 5410 if you exclude the torque and the crazy lady and the CD player, which wasn't invented in another 10 years when this truck was released. And the XM500 next to it. And the Tom Tom. Even though, admittedly, if it hadn't been there, I would have added it anyway. It can't turn if you drive it with anything heavier than say 12 to 15 tons but i guess that's okay considering authenticity i guess the sound of the engine is uh, valid but did we really have to have a 210 horsepower engine with 2110 newton meters of torque i would really love to have seen a say 800 newton meters torque engine uh, to be closer to the original truck and i assume that a 1980 5410 had a 10 speed uh, transmission but i still wish there was a kamas five speed uh, manual available as an option i also wish i could remove the us sorry the the um, cd player and the com radio um, but you can't and well as I said the GPS uh, I would add it anyway but still there are probably a lot of guys out there who want to drive who knows how to drive without having a map available and for their sake I would love to see that that was an option as well and since I'm already complaining the hand parking brake doesn't seem to work very well. That could be a feature, of course, this is an old truck, but yeah, what do you think? To conclude, I'm not overwhelmingly positive about this truck. Uh, it is in many ways very close to the original and then you have some things that isn't remotely close to the real thing and for me that's kind of important uh, i can leave the usb sorry the cd player and the com radio i can leave the gps i can leave the crazy lady but please at least as an option give me the real engine or something at least very close to the real thing and the real transmission as well on the outside the exterior looks just fine i wish there were a few uh, skins available for the truck uh, but i mean i'm lazy i can i'm perfectly capable of creating my own skin if i want so i'm um, yeah this is the kamas 5410 is it the keeper not for me, not in the um, current version at least, but it is it is good looking. So if you just want a truck you, you can go and look at, it's uh, perfectly fine. And with that said, I'm done complaining and thank you very much for watching guys. I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.